Welcome to the Four Listeners Program. Welcome aboard, everybody. Thanks for checking us out this week. What up, everybody? I'm Spear. On the mics with me this week is the Z-Man. What is up, Z? When you're driving in your car and your house is just too far, diarrhea, <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> when your stomach is in pain and you're making chocolate rain, diarrhea, <laughs> diarrhea. Oh, my God. <laughs> I like the sound effects, too. Nice job. Thanks, man. Uh, no Ganthor tonight, but we got we got a little something different going on tonight. A little, this is definitely different. Yeah, definitely different. All right, so this week, and something this is- must be done about what, Z? Shitting your pants? Shit my pants. Shitting your pants. All right, so for the so let's just set the scene here, right? There are you are at a party. I'm at a I'm at a I'm at a gathering of friends. There there is a group. The the gathering of friends is online with us right now. Yes, yes, we are. We are we're here. Yeah, we're here. Cheers. And for the last half an hour or so, you have all been having a conversation about shitting your pants. Or other people shitting their pants. Or other people shitting their pants. So I, I, have, to start asking the, I have to start the conversation by asking how the hell this conversation got started. Well, it's a Why shitty conversation. <laughs> it's a shitty conversation. That is a good question. I don't remember how it got started. How did it get it's started? Peeing by pants, by the pee in the pants. Oh, yeah, we started talking about piss. Well, I think, yeah, we started by... How in the hell do people start, like, just peeing on objects that aren't appropriate? And it's just like, well, you get drunk, and then you think it's a urinal, and, well, you can't stop once it starts, so... So, wait, so wait, have you have you actually been in a position where you've mistaken some other inanimate object for a urinal? Yes, not that he remembers. <laughs> uh, the chair was just asking for it. <laughs> All right, so as weird, as weird as this conversation is, how do we... How did we get? How did we go from peeing to poop? Oh, that's trivial. Come on. Because, <laughs> well, because that is not a big. We ran pee. out of pee stories, and I then mean, we went to poop stories. Obviously, there's number one, and then there's number two. The one upmanship so, just yeah. played I mean, its part, and, and that happens. Thanks. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So who was the, who was the first person to share a uh, a, a poop in their pants story? Was it me? What was the story that I told? What was the first story that I told? Oh, the frat house. That was really what I... You told, well, you told yeah. the pee story at the fat house. Who told the poop story? Oh, uh, I might have told the story about back in college. Yeah, uh, I've got a good poop story, but... So, uh, okay, so this is how it started. Um, I, was, uh, I was a recent alumni, or alumnus, I don't even know what the right word is, and uh, I was back at college, and I was at my fraternity. And my fraternity has a room that is got no no windows, it's, you know... You close the door, it's completely pitch black. That's where they keep the game. So we had been drinking uh, all night, and uh, it was about four in the morning, and my buddy and I were looking for, you know, more trouble to get into. And we uh, we go downstairs, and we open the door, and immediately we're hit by two things. The first is a wave of just foul, like, shit. It's just the stench. If we open the door, it's just like a blast. And the second thing... We, we saw, I'll never be able to shake this image from my mind, but what had happened is this guy, one of our fraternity brothers, had passed out on the floor, like his knees on the floor, his face in the couch, with his hands around his ankle, and he had shat all over the floor, and he had a little turtle head popping up. <laughs> He's what like there, and there's poop all over the floor. But everyone else in the TV room, in the tube room, had, was passed out, or was, sorry, everyone else was uh, on these couches, and they couldn't see, and they didn't want to get up and leave because they didn't want to step in it. <laughs> waiting until we happened to open the door, and it, uh, we, like, let the light in, and then everybody, like, ran out, and what was left was just this kid passed out with his face in the couch. He had a pile of shit in his underwear, a pile of shit next to him. And he had a turtle head poking out, poking out. And because he was face first in the sofa with his ass to the door, that was all I could see. Did, did you have to wake this guy up at, at any point? So, <laughs> no. I we So at that point, we're just like, fuck it. Like, he's face down. I don't even care if he vomits and kills himself. So we're just going to leave him. So face we, down, we ass closed. Ass up. That's yeah. the way we like to fuck, yeah. We closed the door, and that was it. We just, nobody. Like, that was it. All, Nothing else was said. Yeah. <laughs> There was no need, like, we weren't going to go rescue, we weren't going to go clean him up, no one was going to help him, we're like, yeah. It was, it's, it, it could have, it was possible that he was dead. Yes, it was. <laughs> and that his bowels emptied after he passed on, and you were just like, ah, oh, fuck it. That's... Yeah, but I mean, if we're going to look back on our lives and say, like, I left a dead guy versus I wiped a guy's ass, 
Yeah, I'd fair. rather have the I left a dead guy, fair, honestly. Fair, fair. And, and really, he's dead. To, yeah, to your point, I mean, if he's already dead, there's, we're not going to help him in any way. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So, so it's just a poll for five people in the other room. How many people have shit themselves at least once this year? No. 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 Nope. Not this year. I did it today. You did it today? Today. <laughs> I, had to, I had to leave work. I had to come home. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Spear? Tell I, us the like, story. So look, I... I I can't. So I went out last night drinking all night long. I was a little hungover. the the uh, The system was in uh, a little bit of an up upheaval, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That happened. So you know, I had a few bouts with the uh, yeah. with the with the toilet yeah, with the... there, and uh, you know, you at one point I was at one point I was at the urinal. I'm peeing. And, you know, I relaxed a little bit and a little squirted out. You know, it happens. We call that testing the water. <laughs> Is that what happens? <laughs> I'm okay. it's, it's one of those situations. It, it happens all the time. I've, I'll, I'll admit right now, I pooped myself twice this year so far. What? And it's only April. <laughs> no, did you shit in your pants or on your pants? No, def- most I, definitely in. In. <laughs> the worst part about it is the, the awkward waddle that you have to go from the urinal <laughs> over to the stall. That makes a lot more sense because as a girl, like, when I go pee, I literally, like, no, no, Paul. Well, when you're peeing, you're already sitting on the toilet. Right. I'm sitting on the toilet, and I just, like, <laughs> squeeze everything out as fast as possible so, like, no one can hear anything. Right. So, so, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. So for the girls in the other room, there are two girls in the other room. Yeah. Have you ever gone to the bathroom where you were peeing and you accidentally started shitting? Well, what she's saying is I don't think it's an accident, right? It's just empty it all out, whatever it is. You were, sorry, was it a surprise? Was it a surprise that you were shitting? No, you know when you have to go poop. But like, no, I don't. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> okay. I will say that I was thoroughly surprised. I seriously think you should talk to a medical professional about this. Can, can I share a little thing? Because I think I've shared this before. But when I smell old paper, I immediately get diarrhea. You told me that, Z, and I've, I've been trying. I've been that's in the back of my mind. I want to. I want to use that against old, you someday. Old newspaper, or old toilet. Paper? Like if I go to a stationery store or a library, a library. like library, within yeah. like seconds, I have to take a shit. So I feel like the next time in your place, I'm just gonna find like old manuscripts and just hide them <laughs> everywhere on you. No. But then I have like 14 historical books. I'm not. You guys are not. You guys, oh. You're not thinking this through. At his house, he's near a bathroom. We have to do this somewhere where it's going to be really Ooh, awkward for it. In his car? Yeah, in his car. We should invite oh, him yeah. out to like somewhere. Okay. We should. Car. For the record, I have had diarrhea in my car. <laughs> How does that work out? How'd that work out for you, Z? Not well. Not well. <laughs> the locks of his car? That <laughs> might do it. <laughs> so you guys, you guys all know what Code Brown is, right? This is like, this is like when you you're you're out. You probably ate something you shouldn't have eaten, and you've got less than like a five minute warning you you know it's coming there's there's bubbling going on in the stomach your your butt cheeks are clinched to the point where you're sweating uh there's like you know, you're just actually just dripping in in just fear of what's about to happen right. and you know it, there's nothing you can do about it it's going to happen all right there's no stopping it there's no stopping it's going to happen it's going to happen regardless and you know you this this happened to me and it's the worst case i think if this happened to me was when i was in the car and Every single light I'm at, I'm just trying to release the pressure. I'm trying to let some of the pressure out. And you're just squeezing as hard as you can, but just trying to let a little, you know, a little bit of gas out. Any kind of relief. And, and it's such a relief. It feels so good after you get that little bit of gas out. And you're like, oh, my God. I never thought a fart could feel so good. And you just keep going. You keep going. And you're getting closer and closer to home. And the anticipation of being able to actually let this go oh, is getting worst. you even more excited. And just the, it's it's like... The muscle fatigue, but the anticipation, and it's usually like as you're putting the key in the door to get into your house, uh-huh. you just your bowels just release, yeah, and yeah. you're just like and just shit yourself. Just, and, and just it's a toss up if out, you even make it, full, right? What's that? It's a toss up if you even make it's it. It's a toss up. I mean, you are literally inches, steps away from the toilet. You know it's coming, and you just can't make it happen. It just it's pooping, and then once it starts pooping, it's just like when you're peeing. Once it starts pooping and poop comes out, you can't stop. You cannot cut the stream. <laughs> and there's just hot fucking lava pouring down your leg. <laughs> Luckily, you're wearing pants. Luckily, you're wearing pants. But if it's shorts, it's uh, everywhere. It's everywhere. That did happen to me in a blizzard, and I was like, oh, my God, I might have to pull over in the snow and go poop. 
and it might feel better because the snow is really cold and my butt feels really hot. But... <laughs> <laughs> See, I feel like the pee urgency is far greater than the, yeah. pee, the poop urgency. Like when the I feel, pee? When I feel pee coming on, like, I'm pulling my car over, like, I would pee myself before I poop myself. The pee is there's bad no because it feels like someone's stabbing you in your bladder. Like, first there's, like, it hurts where... Maybe it's it... for boys and girls, no. but, like, I can hold the poop, but first, the pee is coming yeah. out. Like, pee is over. different. Pee, on the side of the road. first it hurts where it like actually comes out and then you're like, you keep holding it. And then it's like someone is actually has like a blade in your bladder and you're like, it's just going to burst open. And yeah, I'm we're, gonna, like, we're, not, we're not talking about the run of the mill poop here, right? Yeah, I know. We're, I mean, Z, not... you, you have to have some like this code brown. This is something that is not it's, going to wait. Right. Code brown doesn't wait. I mean, there's, it's coming no matter what. But you know it's coming, though. No, so, like, the, but you no, can't no, no. stop you didn't, you, not you didn't. extricating yourself from whatever situation you're in. That is just stupid. I think All they right, need so stronger anal muscles. I have a question on that topic. So, so anal let, muscles, huh? Let's yeah, say, I think, let's say I think that's what they need. When you, stronger when, anal muscles. When you've gone through code brown, <laughs> right, your last line of defense is clenching your ass, right? You're like... I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna just. I'm closing your car. the door. Like nothing's passing through here. That's right. But everything is awkward at that point, right? You're like waddling around. You're like shuffling. Like things. We'll are call weird. it the prison shower. So my question is: the Prison shower. Uh, have you, has anyone ever noticed anyone else doing that? Because like my fear is that when I'm like waddling or like you know trying to like make it to the bathroom, everyone's looking at me like laughing. But I don't. I realize, like, I've never noticed anybody else ever doing. Well, you're because you're walking all kind of uptight and yeah, very kind yeah, of slowly. Like, exactly. No, but you know, I no, feel like we waddle like, to the restroom. The like everyone understands, like how bad situation can get on the drive, and it's like you've made it the last thirty miles. Like this is your last, last ditch hope, and like everyone's like, yeah, you made it. It's not as <laughs> bad, but. But You're maybe okay. that's a place like that, like around the office or something like yeah, that. Yeah, or like, like a more normal. Oh, place. and around the office, I walk really fast and like I have to go poop. Like, but we're talking about code brown. We're talking about like. Not just I have to go poop. Like, no, sometimes it's I have out, code brown. And no, you're clenching yeah, your well, butt. Sometimes so. I'm like that at work. I'm, but I know I have to go poop. Like literally, if I don't get out of my desk because if I have to go pee, I will wait like up to two hours to go pee. But if I have to go poop, I'm like, okay, it's right at the hole. I need to go to the it's bathroom. Right the hole. <laughs> it's poking out. Yes, it's right there. Okay. I cannot wait another but hour. Do you do you walk funny? I don't walk funny. Okay, then it's I not code brown. I just go to the bathroom and I can't move at brown. the same it time. Block. No, code, code, code brown. Code brown is when it ain't gonna stop. There, there is the 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 butt the butt <laughs> lava is moving into position. You do yeah. not have Your a choice in the matter. Is like actively trying to get something out, and like the last line of Your sphincter is holding me in because like there's no, nothing. No, 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 no. The sphincter. No, the dam is going to break. Yeah. Like your finger is like, oh god, no, it's dry. It, I know. Yeah. You are like, you're holding your butt together. That's like, using when it's your at the hole, right? No. 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 Why is that not there's, at the hole? There's, I need to poop, and there's, I'm going to poop now. Yes. <laughs> but when I have right to go poop, it's like, I'm now. going to go poop now. You know? if, if you're not walking funny, then it doesn't, then you're not cooking around. Right. So I have another poop story. Excellent. Hey, poop another? story. <sighs> When I was in uh, when I was in middle school, maybe high school, I got a job as a bag boy at a grocery store. Oh, that's the worst. It was the worst job no, ever. Like, um, everyone has diarrhea in the grocery store. It's like, <laughs> so it's, it's just like no, in fact, like don't use the grocery influence. store restroom mean. because you'll just see diarrhea like, on the wall. I don't know. It's like bad. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> so. Uh, I was working like reasonably long shift, long enough shift that I got a lunch break. And on my lunch break, I decided it would be a good idea to go to the deli and order one of the grocery store hot dogs. Missed. <laughs> so I eat the hot dog, and then I have a, a an afternoon f- filled with uh, bagging groceries. Uh, and at some point, you know. Put brown. Code yeah, brown. Code brown. <laughs> there's, there's some, there's some little bit, a little bit of a uh, tumultuous uh, uh, low yeah, rumble from the belly, and and I decide that it would be in my best interest to run to the bathroom. <laughs> so I go, nice decision. I go into the bathroom, and the stalls are taken, 
And I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Like, this shit is coming out. Like, there's no... <laughs> I, do, I don't have any Literally. options. Literally. I don't have any options here. So I look around. There's basically three choices. It's there's the floor, <laughs> there's the sink, or there's the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I chose I the just, urinal. Well, you know, or is this like a customer... <laughs> <laughs> How many stalls were there? Two. Did you know that it was an emergency? What were they gonna do? Get out of the stall. They were shitting. Like you, hey, don't, you don't yell. So I shit in have? the urinal. I like drop trout. I shit in the urinal, and it was not a fun shit. Like it wasn't like you know a nice clean log. This was like Swear. a puddle. What kind of noise did you make as it came out? <laughs> did I make? Yeah. Oh, I don't need a sigh of relief. So the good news is they have rolls of toilet paper <laughs> to the urinal, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so I, I, bl- I blew out in the urinal, and then I don't remember what I, I don't remember, oh, there were paper towels. This was like an old school bathroom, so I could, I could like clean up enough. And I, and I just like went back out. <laughs> And I was like, <laughs> so, like, what do I do now? Like, I could tell my manager <laughs> that, you know, somebody shit in the urinal, or I could say that I did. <laughs> so the people in the stall didn't come out while you took the shit? <laughs> no. So, so I, I'm sort of, like, thinking about this, and, you know, I got the good angel, the bad angel, and I, I kind of realized, like, no good could come of me <laughs> revealing anything about this situation to anyone. So I just went back to work. <laughs> you told nobody. You said nothing. Well, you know the customers are going to be like, hey, fucking stinks in there. So shit. Wait, the urinal. The so, two like, people that were in the stalls are going to come out and say someone's shit in the urinal. <laughs> so the, bath- the bathroom was not in the back of the store. It was actually in the front of the store. So I start bagging groceries. I can watch this whole catastrophe unfold. <laughs> Where, like some customer ran out <laughs> to the manager. <laughs> And then the manager runs in the bathroom and the <laughs> shaking his head. It's like, oh my god, I don't know what just happened in there. And then the manager delegate to some other guy. And then the other guy delegate to some other guy to clean it up. Like, hose it down. And did I'm you just watching this all? I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna say anything. So I'm did not- you know the guy who had to clean that shit up? I did. I did. Oh my god! <laughs> you ever, and you never told him what happened. Never told him. Pray to God that he doesn't listen to this. Tell, you should totally tell him now. <laughs> yeah. Just didn't feel comfortable talking to him. After he cleaned up my shit out of a year. I don't know what's. I honestly don't know what's worse: knowing that I crap my pants today, or knowing that I have that story in my in my in my history. I don't know what's worse. Wait. Well, you mean the the, the bad part was that I just you know let I somebody think it's else better. clean it up. I think it's better to crap in the urinal than crap your pants. Wow. <laughs> so, what did we learn? But I, I don't even... I don't, I, I, we, there's so much that we learned, Z. What did we learn? I, I learned, apparently, that girls don't code brown. They apparently are able to plan well enough in advance that they can just shit when they need to. I'm amazed by this. I'm, I'm absolutely amazed by it. Um, well, we'll start going around the room. Who wants to go first? I learned that... The story about me shitting in a urinal is still funny 20 years later. <laughs> funny and amazing. Amazing. Amazeballs. That's unbelievable. I learned that when poop is right at my butthole, it's not considered a good brown, even though I thought it was. Literally, it makes me feel like I'm about to shit myself, but <laughs> the fact that I'm able to still walk to a toilet and use it properly means that it's not a good brown. It's a totally different scenario. You're absolutely right. No, how, how is that not true? I don't know. It's totally different. Code brown is something that happens like within like one minute and you're not near a bathroom. No, it, it, like, there's no literally, stop. I hold things for a long time and I'm like, this is not good. I should go to the bathroom immediately. You can't hold code brown. This, this code brown doesn't it. stop. There's no okay. stopping code brown. Sure, whatever. Who's, I feel like women what? just are better at Holding oh, oh, everything we're go that in. Way? Oh, yeah. Really? That is patently wrong, but we'll move on to the next person. Next. Um, I learned that I don't really have any good pooping stories, and <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that men 
men have less shame than I thought they had in the first place, but I guess <laughs> to, to assume they had any shame at all was wrong. Correct. <laughs> Not my part. Absolutely correct. See, you didn't learn enough. You should have learned that men have absolutely no shame. I also thought there was like something weird biologically where men cannot poop and pee at the same time. We'll, we'll look into that for you and we'll get back to you. I, I learned that uh, <laughs> women actually do poop and sometimes they just like forcefully do it at the same time as peeing, which just weirds the shit out of me. And Wow, that's actually strangely appropriate. Well, we'll end on that one for me. There you go. Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> disturbs called, me. He yeah. called the shit poop. He called the shit poop. <laughs> <laughs> You don't hear anything. You don't smell anything. It's gone. It's like roses. Yes, exactly. It's all a recreational area down there. Yeah. Wow. Uh, what did I learn? I learned that shitting in a urinal is possible and that there are some fucked up people in this world that won't own up to that shit. And some guy who had to clean up that shit out of that urinal was never told who was the actual <laughs> culprit. And that is fucked up. So if you have shat your pants... Why don't you go ahead and let us know? Why don't you post it right there on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash fourlisteners or fourlisteners.com. You can check us out. Uh, nobody will do that. You can check us out on the Stitcher Radio or on the iTunes. Just search for four listeners and we'll pop right on up. Well, thank you all for, uh, for helping us out with this show. Dude, for, no, uh, thank you. This was the shit. <laughs> <laughs> We thank you all for checking us out this week and listening to this train wreck. We hope that you will check us out again next week. Thanks a bunch, everybody. Diarrhea. When you're playing with your junk and your ass starts blowing chunks. Diarrhea. Diarrhea.